Hi students, today I am going to discuss class 9 CBSE uh, exercise 2.1 that is polynomial chapter exercise 2.1 which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable and which are not state reasons for your answer um, we are asking which are the polynomials or not and which are the polynomials with one variable or two variable like that they are asking for that we will consider first one first one 4x square plus 3x plus 7 here we have one variable that is x here also x is there but with one variable only this polynomial and this way uh, this uh, polynomial also with one variable that is y then uh, we have three terms here then uh, answer is 1 and 2 is with one variable okay then um, this one third one 3 root t plus t root 2 3 root t we have then we we cannot take it as this we cannot take it as root t because we have root t root t means t raised to half we cannot take t raised to half we cannot take because as exponent we need to take whole number or real number here then we cannot take it is not a polynomial then this third one is not a polynomial okay this one then next one is this one y plus y by uh, 2 by y then in this case 1 by uh, y by uh, y plus 2 by y then in this case it is 2 by y then we can we cannot take this also as a polynomial why because 2 by y that is 2 uh, divided by y then we need to take 1 by y in this case 1 by y is is y raised to minus 1 1 by y is y raised to minus 1 we can no we cannot take because we need real number in this case we cannot take this one as a polynomial then then therefore it is not a polynomial then 3 and 4 are not a polynomial okay the next one we will take x raised to 10 y, y cube plus uh, t raised to 50 we can take it as a polynomial fifth one is a pol pol polynomial because we have real numbers or wall numbers as exponent exponent means this uh, top portion one number is or no that is a uh, exponent or power x raised to 10 then 10 is the power of this x we can take it as, as a polynomial because it, this power is a whole number here okay with the three variables x y t with the three variables it is we can take it as polynomial uh, three variables x y and t okay then uh, remaining portion i will tell in next video okay thank you